What's up guys? Welcome back to today's video where we're going to talk about what not to do for keeping muscle and losing body fat. So a couple misconceptions that people get when trying to maintain muscle but lose body fat at the same time is thinking that they need to cut out carbs, um, go low calorie, do excessive amounts of cardio, stay in the gym for a couple hours each workout to really get a good pump. <clears throat> now, this is not necessarily the truth whatsoever. You don't have to cut out carbs, you don't have to do cardio, you don't have to spend hours in the gym working out to try and lose body fat. What you need to be doing is tracking your macros, doing progressive overload in the gym, and maybe doing slight amount of cardio depending how quickly and effectively you're trying to keep, maintain your muscle while losing the body fat. So what exactly do I mean? Uh, for me personally, the past two and a half, about to be three weeks now, I've been doing a little mini cut trying to keep you guys updated with what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. So far I have lost about seven and a half pounds through those three weeks, been able to maintain my strength in the gym, uh, kept my muscle mass so far, everything's good. So what did I do and what's the secret? There really isn't a secret. The first thing you need to do in order to maintain your strength and muscle in the gym while losing more body fat is to track your calories. Track your macros, your protein, your carbs, your fats. You don't have to cut carbs out. Carbs are not the reason you're overweight. Consuming too many calories is the big reason if you're gaining weight and not losing it. So make sure you track that Give it a go for a week and see how it goes. My recommendation is using either my macros or my fitness pal that you can download in the app store. And those are two great ways to start in order of understanding your body and its needs in order to maintain, gain weight, lose weight. So start there first of all. Second, you need to be tracking your workouts. I don't care if you download an app to do it, I use a notebook and keep it all written down because I'm, I'm old school, I just, I like doing it that way, it's easier for me rather than having to pull my phone out every set and getting distracted. So make sure you're tracking your workouts and you're making progress throughout the week. Slightly do one more rep than last time, uh, add five pounds on, do more reps, like you can change it up every single workout that you do just make sure you're slowly making progress and keeping up with the total volume that you're putting out for your workouts and third you do not need to be doing excessive amounts of cardio I know some people think you have to be doing cardio every single day you go into the gym do it for 20 minutes to an hour but really it's just gonna run you into the ground you're going to be dead tired, you're not going to perform well in the gym, your body's not going to recover as quickly or as properly as it could if you were just tracking your calories in order to lose the weight instead of doing hours of cardio, excessive amounts, and just feeling fatigued 24-7. So what I suggest is if you really want to do cardio, maybe do some low steady state cardio and just walk on the treadmill for 10-15 minutes do a five minute walking warm up before you work out do a five minute cool down after you're done working out you don't need to be sprinting on the treadmill for 45 minutes trying to burn as many calories as possible cardio is just an extra tool during the process if you are trying to lose body fat. It's not necessary whatsoever though. Thanks for watching guys. I hope this was helpful. As always, drop some comments down below. If you need any coaching assistance, that will be in the description box below. Thanks for watching once again.